This is Chase and Garrett. Chase is five foot four inches tall and Garrett is five foot ten with their shoes on. Here are four dirt bikes ranging in size from small to large. Let's see how the boys fit on these different bikes. Here Chase is trying the Honda CRF 125FB. This bike has a seat height of 30.9 inches. The bike is perfect for someone like Chase who's never ridden a dirt bike until today. Garrett on the other hand is too big for this bike. He's completely flat footed and when he brings his foot up to the peg, he has to fold his ankle and leg too much. This will make it difficult for him to shift gears, especially when he's wearing motocross boots. Now anybody can ride a small bike and have fun as you see Garrett doing here, but a slightly larger bike would be better for Garrett in the long run. Here's Chase riding for the very first time. Give it a little bit of gas. You got it. The bike's a great fit for Chase and has just the right amount of power for a young beginning rider. Next, Chase is trying out the Kawasaki KX85. This bike is slightly taller than the CRF with a seat height of 32.7 inches. Chase's heels don't reach the ground, but that's perfectly fine since this is a motocross bike. As you might have guessed, the KX85 is also too small for Garrett. Now, I don't recommend this bike for a beginning rider. There's too much power, and it has to be driven aggressively to keep the engine running properly. It doesn't have electric start, and the way in which it delivers power is just not as calm and predictable as some of the other bikes. Nonetheless, both boys wanted to give it a try, and since we had a safe, wide open field to ride, I let them. Chase went first. He managed the bike well, running it in first and second gear at low RPM. After a few short laps, he brought the bike back in and expressed some worries about how the bike has so much power, it's like it wants to leap out from under him. The KLX 140RF has a seat height of 33.9 inches. This bike's too big for Chase. He's all the way up on his tippy toes, struggling to keep the bike up. Garrett, however, is a perfect fit for this bike. He could reach the ground comfortably with both feet, and the angle of his leg and ankle is fine. Of the four bikes we have here today, the KLX 140 is the most appropriate for Garrett. The power of the KLX 140 is smooth and predictable, making it a great choice for beginners. Check out some of my other videos here on the channel to learn more about this bike. Clutch in. There you go. Yep, you got it. <laughs> now Chase has no business trying to ride a full-size KX250 motocross bike like the one here. Even with a 1-inch lowering link, which brings the seat height down to 36 inches, Chase's legs dangle like spaghetti noodles over the edge of a table. Garrett, on the other hand, fits nicely on the bike. But that doesn't mean he should ride it. He needs more experience on a bike like the KLX 140 first. There's just too much power in a full-size motocross bike for a beginning kid rider, in my opinion. Let's hear what the boys have to say about their experience today. All right, guys, we've had an opportunity to try out all of these bikes. Uh, Chase, you tried the Honda and the KX85, and Garrett, you actually were able to jump on all three. Uh, Chase, what do you think? Between the Honda and the KX, what bike did you feel most comfortable on as a first-time rider? So I felt most comfortable on this one because it felt more stable and I was able to control it way better. Um, yeah. What did you think about the, uh, the KX? How did that feel? Um, I mean, it felt good whenever you were like going a slower and everything, like decent speed, but then once you like turned the throttle a little bit, it felt like I was going to like kind of... Um, like fall off of it it's just a bit too fast for me right now all right but maybe in a couple weeks after you practice on the honda for a bit uh you'd probably feel more comfortable on on the kx uh garrett you tried all three bikes um which one did you feel most comfortable on um i chose the klx because um i was able to control it like really good 
and it suits my size really well. Um, yeah. What do you think of the KX? K the seat height on the KX is about the same as the KLX. It's a little bit lighter. Um, what are your thoughts about the KX? Um, the KX, I thought um, it was a little too fast for me for my first time. Yeah, and probably a little bit too small. A combination of a little bit too too much uh, power and a bit too small for your size. Probably not the best bike uh, for you to start out on. But uh, yeah, I agree. I think the KLX is a really good uh, match for for your skill level and, and your size. And over here at Chase, I think the CRF 125 uh, big wheel version this is, by the way, I think that's uh, sized perfectly for you and just the right amount of power. All right, so there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. If it was, hit that like button, subscribe, and check out my other videos here on Go Hobby. Thanks for watching, everybody.